What's up, everybody? It's the homie Truth Teller, the street reporter. I got the legend in here. A lot of people been saying, Truth, you got to get somebody new in front of that lens. <laughs> a lot of these people in front of this camera, we didn't see back to back. Right. I think this is an impactful interview for the culture. For sure. Dot a legend in this shit. I appreciate that. Been here for a long time. Yeah. He done had his hands in, in, in music uh -huh. that did millions of views. A lot of pots, man. A lot Most of pots. definitely. I uh, appreciate you coming to Truth Teller TV, Legend. I appreciate you for having me. Uh, now, for the people who don't know what's going on, though, because there is new people in the culture, you yeah. got to know exactly what your name is and where you're from. You're yeah, Chicago's favorite nerd, Why Dot G Dot. The biggest nerd since Urkel, man. You know what I'm saying? Your baby mama's favorite nerd, man. All that. Why Dot G Dot. Uh, yeah. Most definitely. Chicago, right? For sure. Okay, I normally ask the person in front of this camera, like, what neighborhood they from. They yeah. normally tell me a neighborhood of yeah. a guy who passed away. For sure. Some people say they're from the old Chicago. And that would be me. Okay. But I was born and raised on 87th and Harper, which oh. is right off Stony Island. Okay. Um, I went I went to Caldwell, St. Albert. If y'all familiar with that area, y'all know. I went to Longwood on 95th. You know what I mean? So, I mean, if you know, you know. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people know. Like, I went to real Chicago schools. Like, you know what I'm saying? I, Graduated eighth grade, right. high school from from Chicago. I took driver's ed at Simeon. I'm a real Chicago baby. <laughs> right. You know what okay. I'm saying? Like, I really like that. Okay, so you born, born raised, and raised in Chicago. I rap it. I put it on my back. Okay. I ain't no hood. I rap everything. You know what I mean? But I am who I am. I get love from everybody. So that's just what it is. You, if you want to get some money, we get money. You know what I'm saying? If you want to work, we work. That's what we do. Have you noticed a difference in the city? Because now, you know... When I look in the sun times, it's For a sure. lot of violence, yeah. a lot of shootings, killing. Yeah. Where does that come from, Doc? I mean, honestly, I can't tell you where it came from. I can tell you that it is different right now. Um, I can tell you that I wish it wasn't like that. Like, I can tell you that also I seen a time when it wasn't like that. Okay. I seen a time where, like, you would just fight. You know what I mean? Like, we would go to the rink. And they would just duke it out. Like, now it's like, you can't go nowhere without the killing or whatever. But, I mean, I, w I really wish it wasn't like that, but it's like that. You know, maybe some people not getting money like this crew getting or whatever. Or they hate these people because they did this to them. Like, I hate that it's like that, but it's like that. So, we kind of just got to really, like, adapt to it, which is sad that we got to adapt to it. Because I got kids. And I know that most of the guys that are out here doing stuff, they got kids, too. So, like, but me, I think about my kids. So, like, and I never really been... Like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't get wrapped up in that. I don't make that type of music. I make club music. If y'all search me right now, it's nothing but booty shaking music. So right. y'all not finna, y'all watching this interview to get I talk and all that, y'all not gonna get that. Right. So don't even turn it off now. Right, right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you're not finna get that. You're gonna get positive, positivity. Right. Now, you know nothing. now, though, Dot, no, not to yeah. cut you off now. Yeah. I totally agree with that when That's I look up. at your music. But you are linked to arguably one of the biggest drill rappers of all time by the name of FBG Duck in the whole FBG camp. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Have you inherited any else and shit because of your affiliations with them? I mean, if I told you that I was cool with, if I I was cool with the other side too. Right. At the same time as being cool with them. Okay. I can tell you that. But yeah, I was Duck's DJ. I'm still actively FBG's DJ. You right. know what I mean? Like I still do stuff for them, but like, I've been in places where they've been. I've been in places where they've been. It's just more so like I never was really, like I'm one of them guys that like, they respect it. Like, you know how you got like, all right, like in different hoods, they got people that just probably just live there that probably don't even do nothing. You know what I'm saying? I don't live in neither one of them areas. Like not from neither one of them hoods. But it's just like, you know what I mean? Like I just get love. Cause I'm like a ladies man, I'm about the women. If you don't like me, it's cause I probably, yeah, I you know what I'm saying? Like, you know? So like, yeah, I mean, I'm, yeah, you say what, yes, I am. Yeah, I am. I ain't gonna dodge the question. I am. Like, I'm definitely linked to that BG camp, right. Cloud Boys Entertainment. But you know, not to pull, but to get yeah. a clear answer from you, though. Right? <laughs> you know, not to pull. <laughs> Have you ever been caught in an uncomfortable position? Hey, dog, what's up with you, bro, and them niggas? Well, no. Nah. You ever in a comfortable position? I'm, all, I'm comfortable everywhere. Okay. Now, I can tell you that, like, people around me, like, I tell, cause I'm aware of what's going on. Okay. Like I'm not naive. I'm born and raised here, so I know what's going on. You know what I mean? Let me get comfortable. Right? <laughs> you, right. you ain't put me in an uncomfortable position, <laughs> but let me get comfortable one time. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. But I've, um, I'm completely aware of what's going on. But like I've had people like around me 
that may work for me. Like it'd be like, oh yeah, this person approached me because I, you know, did some stuff for you. So, but I tell people all the time, like, you know, what I'm saying, hey, just be mindful of, you know, what I'm saying what I am. I, I mean, like you just said, I am attached to it, and I am. So I'm very much aware that I am. So like, I, I move, I move very. Let me even say that I'm. You know what I mean? Like I'm a guy for him, man. And, right, I get you it. You know what I mean? We just, we just hope and pray for the best, man. Yeah, I get it, and it's not to put you in nothing messy, but yeah. you know, these you really, you I can't, you, not, yeah. yeah, you can't put me in nothing messy because okay. it's like I, I chose to, agree, I agree to it. Okay, so it's okay. just like I agree to it because. I'm promoting my song, Bounce That Ass, produced uh-huh. by DJ Morris. Make sure y'all go stream that Bounce on all that platforms. Bounce That Ass, dropping real soon. Yeah, we gonna get to yeah. that movie. Nah, it's yeah. out, it's out, man. Y'all gonna get okay. it on all platforms, man. Uh-huh. Y'all gonna get it. I'm doing shows and everything, man. Most definitely. We sure gonna get a whole part on that. We gonna yeah. speak on that. For sure. I kind of want to go back to the uh, FBG, though. Is there certain songs you can play while DJ and certain songs you stay away from, though? I mean, okay, so I MC in every hot club, right? Okay. Now. We play everybody. We play okay. Vaughn, because Vaughn made great music. Just want to switch y'all want. Duck made great music. Right. Dirk makes great music. Her makes great music. They all make good ass music. Now, do we let the words stuff play? Me as an MC, because I know how to hit the board a little bit. Right. Now we let the crowd do it. Cause I'm an entertainer at the end of the day. I'm there to make money. I'm there to I'm there to keep. If it's 800 people in this club, I do a club on Fridays. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna say the name of the club. If you know, you know. But it'd be like 800 to 1,000 people there every Friday. Okay. Thursday through Sunday, I work. Okay. You know what I mean? MCing in the clubs. And it'd be like 300 to 1,000 people at every spot. So we just, for the safety of the people, we don't let it get too far. Because the people are coming to party, man. You gotta think about it, man. They paying $30 to get. This is my job. This is my career. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, like, Every DJ, like, we don't we don't really stick our nose in that. Like, they, Duck and them never put me in their stuff. Right. They never put me in that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I heard Duck didn't put people in He never put issues. me in that stuff, right. man. It, but, like, I mean, have I ever been places where, you know, it never got uncomfortable, though? Because okay. I'm a man before anything. So it's just like, you don't really have a reason with me. Like, <laughs> but I get it, though. Like, oh, we can't get them. We get the. Right. I get that. But it's just like, Sometimes that's not a logical thing when, like, I ain't never did nothing to you. Like, I go outside. I'm not going to, you know what I mean? Like, I still, I got a family, bro. I got kids. So, it's like, I go to Chuck E. Cheese. Now, where do I do and stuff at? I'm not going to tell you. Like, you know what I'm saying? But, like, I do go outside and live my life. Like, as everybody should. No, they ain't never put me in their stuff, though. Young, no, none of that. They all come to my stuff. Young and Dutchy. They always come to my stuff. Is it certain records though? Okay, you in a club, everybody's screaming for the dead bitches. You stay away from that? They rarely play dead bitches. Oh. They rarely play dead bitches. But I mean, five, six, seven, eight, GDK slam the race. They get played. That's her. Oh. But like, you know, we just, you know, we bleep it out. Let the crowd okay, say it. it. We don't. I, right. I, we not as an MC. If you a, if you an MC, you not. You are nothing when you on that mic. You're nothing. So if I'm affiliated, if I if I am affiliated, I'm not affiliated when I'm working. And so that's so that's the thing. Like I know how to I know how to differentiate music in real life. I'm an entertainer tonight. Like it don't matter who I'm with. You know what I mean? You get what I'm saying? I get it. Like have we went to other states when Duck was on the road and they playing, they saying Tuga name and all that stuff. I mean them. They know how. They know. Like, I would go over there, you know, just, hey, you know, he's here. You know what I'm saying? Let's right. just keep it to a minimum. He's just here to do a show, man. How was it on the road? Amazing. Right. I had a house here. I was never there. <laughs> it was great. It was a great. I remember him calling. I remember him calling me, and I'm, he's, man, bro, it wouldn't, it ain't going to be right without you, bro. Uh-huh. Billionaire Black. Uh-huh. They, yeah, yeah. Billy getting that, man, bro, we ain't. I was doing they mixtapes first. Right. Billionaire Black and King Yellow. I was on eight tapes first. Okay. So, um, and then I was on like, you know, I did drops for like Hustle Nomics. So that was like, uh-huh. at the time he was like, he was Chief Keep DJ. So like I was on Chief Keep stuff. I was in uh, early Tink. You listen to Winner's Diary 1. No, I ain't know that. Queen Key. Okay. The legend. I mean, it's like a lot of people I have. Spins though. A lot of people I have my hands in. The legend. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, right. 
you know, Sosa and them probably watching this right now. Like, yeah, he ain't lying. Like, yeah. I was on every, I was on everybody's job, bro. Like, if Lil Reese watched this, he can, yeah. Like, he's not lying. Like, bro, I've never, I, like, it is, it is what it is and who I DJ for, but they know that, like, you know what I mean? I never was like. Not to cut you out, when you named all the names you just named, yeah. okay? This drill rap, that caused all this separation? Or it been that's some street shit? I mean, however they had it in the street shit, but I just remember a time when it wasn't like this steep. Right. Like, it's steep as shit now. Like, it wasn't this steep. I mean, when people who probably was like, who probably need deep in the shit that you be having interviewing, that you interview, they will probably say like, yeah. oh yeah, it's like, well, this shit been, and I'm just like, okay, well I can't, that, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Shout out to them, but I can't, you know what I'm saying? I can't recollect that, you feel me? Like, I just know that like, I'm coming from the entertainment side of things, but I also am in the streets, you know what I'm saying? Because like, I'm still here, you know what I'm saying? I'm still grinding, so like, and I was yeah. born and raised there, so yeah, I'll say I'm in the streets, but like I said, but to answer that question, though, they never put me in none of that shit. I know. I, get it. I totally get it. You know, last question I want to ask about Duck. I ain't going to make this a Duck interview, but I do got you here. Yeah. You know, and I... Go ahead and ask. Like I said, I agree. And I know when I sit okay. in front of cameras, I know what people want. I know okay, what they let's want. Get it. When I do sit in front of them, and I rarely... I just did one other interview before you? this. I mean, he didn't really ask too much. I kind of brought it up, actually. Okay. So, like, if you wasn't going to bring it up, I was going to bring it up. Okay, that's dope, then. Because, you know, for some strange reason, I feel like... I've been following Duck career for a long time. Yeah. I feel like I'm one of the first bloggers to really jump on his wave, you know, okay. on the blog side. I, not the first, but right. I feel like his music kind of got soulful after his brother passed. Well, he been making soulful music. Well, oh, he been, they been was on that wave. It's just that he knew that that's not what people wanted from him. Right. So like, you know what I mean? Like, they all are like that. You know what I'm saying? They all are like that. Like. They all make great music. Like, I feel like, yo, I love all the music that's out. Like, honestly, <laughs> like, I do. Like, I, I, it's not like, I like Dirk when he's not talking about, I, I love his, I know him. I know him. Herb, I know them personally. Okay, so I know family Dirk. members, bro. I know them. Yes. They can watch this, but they not, they ain't like he lying. No. I know them. Right. You feel me? Like, they all make great music. They all are. Dope individuals, man. It's just that, bro. This is Chicago, bro. It's like, I just hate the way it... How we portrayed is how they really trying to give it. Like, you know what I'm saying? They, everybody really cool, bro. They, everybody really making money, bro. Like, it just so happened that we lost two big main characters. We lost two main characters. This 2K, we lost two main characters. Uh, uh, that's deep. When the song Dead Bitches came out, you heard that before the world heard that, right? When you heard that, first thing came to your mind, first conversation in your head. I don't really want to get into too deep about it, but I'll say that like I said, they shouldn't have shot. I said, I said it should have been over with after that. Like after exposed, exposing me shouldn't even happen, right. but it happened. But I don't really want to get into their business because I didn't, I didn't care too much for it. Right. And then that was like close to the the situation that happened. So it's like, I don't really want to get into that, but okay. I just, you know, I remember having a conversation. I say Billy let me hear it, because Billy was with me. Right. And then I said what I said. He said the video already been shot. And then I said what I said again. Only me and Billy know that conversation. And I don't really want to get into it. Right. I'll just leave you with that. Like, I just... Y'all insert however y'all think I feel. Put it in the comments. You know, I got this next question. Yeah. I don't want this to come out disrespectful, so mm -hmm. I'm trying to find the best way to I want you to it. just say it. Okay. Yeah. In your opinion, mm -hmm. I think Duck was dope. I got him top five in my drill rap legends of all time. Okay. But I want to know from you, <laughs> why didn't Duck get to Dirk's status in your opinion? Because I heard something about this thing called a black ball. Is that, was that real? I mean, it depends on how you I mean it. Something like that exists. Okay. Like, I'm not going to say that it's coming from him, but I'll just say that, like, something like that exists. I just feel like you just got to keep grinding. 
you got to keep working and you can't really worry about the negatives. You got to stay positive and like, I mean, I'm familiar with the word, like, you know what I mean? Like, but I just feel like you can, you can make it out. Right. And honestly, cause I was there with him. He made it out. Right. He did. Right. Now it's about what you do with it. I, I, you know, love my boy. I miss my bro. You know what I mean? But you know what I'm saying? Did he, y'all insert what, how I feel now? I ain't even gonna speak no more. Like my, my answer, you could probably get the rest of it, but he made it out. He did. Right. He did. He, he did. Now it's about what you do with it. Right. When you get it, God gonna give it to you. I ain't gonna lie. I'm in it right now. God giving me my run as an artist. As like, cause I, this is what I want to do. Cause I'm dope as shit. Y'all should go listen to my music. Uh -huh. I, you know, I make, Booty shaking music, you know bounce what I'm saying? That ass out right you know what I'm saying? Bounce that ass out right now, uh -huh. man. I make dope music, man. Y'all check me out. You know what I'm saying? But my bro made it out, bro. Shout out to FBG. Shout out to everybody doing their thing music wise, man. Do well, y'all thing. Where did the King Lil J come in? Then? Um, I'm not. I'm. I honestly, I don't even know. I know yeah, when I did. It, huh? When I, I'm. Not, I know of him. But we never really like met. When I done. When I used to uh, host. Um, Billionaire Black and King Yellow mixtapes. They would have features with them. I never had met them though. Mm -hmm. So like, I, I, let's we can go past that question because okay. I don't really know. Hip hop homicide. <laughs> I seen the segment. Yeah. You was on there. I seen you. You know we. I can't... think I was there. Yeah. I think I don't remember. <laughs> Might have been there. We can't. You know I gotta ask one question. Go now, ahead. You know. How did you feel when you got the news about Dope Day? I was around the corner. I was um I was actually eating. Okay. And then So you was in that area? I was right around the corner. I was like seven minutes away. Cause they took him in the um Northwestern. So that is true that that's a cause I know, but for people who don't know, it's a lot of people watch this and never come to Chicago. Yeah. But that's a nice neighborhood. Well I was at it was like up north. So like if y'all never been to Chicago, downtown and like out west and up north is like slick all connected. Like you could be out west, you can make a like a turn on the street and you could be downtown. Oh. And then downtown take you like up north. I was up north where he was at, cause like this who I was with was like, oh Duck got shot. So I'm thinking like, oh, Duck got shot before everything cool. Like, it's a video. Imagine we all in a group chat. So I checked the my phone is going off. I'm like, but I'm not paying attention to it because I'm like out eating and stuff. So I've seen him watching the video like. And then like my vibes just instantly, and then pops call me. Oh, this serious. He man, we finna. Um, I don't want to get into the details of everything and what we did, but you know, went around. I was down the street already though. I was right around the corner on where they at the hospital. Now you know, this one tough question I gotta ask. Man, yeah. You know, I rock with you, Doc. Now you know, but. I gotta ask this question. Was it uncomfortable when you was hearing songs about Duck from King Von? Because a lot of people say Von was arguably the king of drill. Or was um, it uncomfortable while he was blowing up to hear his name? No. Nah. Dropping Duck and songs? No, nah, it's not. A, it wasn't uncomfortable. I mean, at the end of the day, that's, you know what I mean? That's how all their careers started. You know what I'm saying? You look back at Duck's first song. Who was he dissing? If you know, you know. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, all their whole careers is based on that. So, like, you know, it's not uncomfortable for me. Like I said, I'm not I'm not in the mix of that. You know what I'm saying? I'm not in the mix of their street shit. I'm in the mix of their music, the entertainment side of it. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm not shying away from where I, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I was with I was with them doing the shows and stuff. I'm not outside with them. Like, you know what I'm saying? But, like, yeah. But I did. They... That man did something for my career that I never knew about certain parts of the world that we went to. Right. Like I don't even think he never knew. Like yeah, I had never been to a I never been to a Pittsburgh right. until we got booked right. to go there. Don't get fans out there. Man, that man, bro, look, we would be in the airport, bro, <laughs> missing our flights. Cause everybody wanted to take pictures with him. Uh -huh. Old ladies, I I was there, like, I was there, like, damn near. Man, look. Shout out to Pops, man, a real stand-up guy, man. I was I worked close with him on all of them. So it's just like, 
I was the I was the right hand man Damn. in the situation. That's a dope, bro. No, that's dope. I kind of want to switch it up a little bit because I also see music with your name on it that has yes. FBG Cash on. Um, do I got a song with Cash? I, I got one song. You. Yeah, no, nah, that was young and Dutch. Okay, yeah, okay. Cash just been in a few of my videos. Okay. I never got one in with Cash. Okay. We were supposed to though. We was gonna do it because we I was working, I was finna drop his project too. So I hosted all eight mixtapes, so I was gonna do his mixtape too. But yeah. Is FBG is they underrated to you? Um yeah. I mean they they are very talented. I feel like, you know, they they get love shown yeah. to them. They have a fan base. It just how, like, like your perspective of it may be different from mine. Like, them boys stars. Just like, yeah, that's sad yeah, stars. Too, yeah. Every hood got stars. Like, you feel me? Like, everybody's a star. Like, you can, if you got a name, you ever, you ever do more than... I don't do views. I can pack out a club, though. Right. <laughs> like, so everybody different. You know what I'm saying? Like, they, them boys do... Them boys get, they, them boys get what they're supposed to get. You know right. what I'm saying? They get them YouTube checks. Right. Like, you feel me? They can do that. You know what I mean? Like... You know, it's just like, like they, you know how they say it's, like, it's artists that that stream well, and then it's artists that sell out shows. Right. That's like real. I'm more, I'm more on the sell out show type side. I wouldn't say that they're underrated because they got they got fans. Right. It's about like I said, it's about what you it's about what you do with it when you get it. Like them, my dogs, they know the conversations we had. Like they know I I'm rooting for them. Like I'm pro Chicago. I really wish all this shit could stop. I honestly feel like I could stop it. Yeah. Yeah. Feel like I can, but I just need to be in the you know the right room with the right people. I get it. I get it. Feel like I can stop the shit. You also a DJ. Yep, DJ. I MC. Yep. Rock shows and shit. All that shit. Dance. Shooting the driver my own career, man. Outside. Floyd Mayweather. You know, it's a club by the name of Club O. You know. And all the DJs that got a name seem like they eventually had to go through there too, you know? Nah. Nah. That ain't it. Okay. But I get what you're saying though. Yeah. Like, nah, but that's just one of the spots that was popular at that time. Okay, okay. Yeah. You know, you DJed at Club O before. I didn't see that before, y'all. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I want to ask you a question about Club O because, you know, an event happened there that kind of went viral all yeah. around the world. Yeah. Little Dirt. His brother, right. his thing, you know, unfortunately lost his life due to gun violence right. at that club. Um, you've been inside that club before. Yeah. How's the atmosphere around that club? Because I've been to a lot of clubs, and I heard clubs in the Chicago area are not safe. You need to stay away. I mean, I don't, I don't want to speak on like how the club was, but I mean, what occurred that night, you know, I wasn't even there. Okay. I was there, but then I had left. I was gone. Okay. But yeah, like my promotion was out there. Like I know I know what you're talking about. It's like a video of it. And the guy, like, I don't even know who did the thing. He was like trying to, trying to pin me to it. Oh, this is FBG Doug's DJ. Like, dude, uh -huh. like, bro, I'm not into it with them guys like that, so bro. I didn't drop like no low. Right. They I didn't even know that they was there. Right. I was going to the next club. I was scheduled to do. So I was scheduled to it was a particular person's birthday party that night. And I was supposed to do my song Booty Pop, which is the flyer that y'all see, the poster that y'all see. Boom. And I didn't do it because it kind of like the club, like, you know, sometimes with Chicago, clubs start later than they're supposed to start. So that club had started later. I was outside the whole time. I was outside the whole time talking to the promoters. But we was on like a certain side of it. Like, I wasn't like directly in front of the door. Right. So then, boom, I left, went to the next club. And that's when we got the news. Like, that, I'm like, whoa. Like, it was a shocker. Like, what the hell? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we was just there type shit. Like, it wasn't seeming like nothing was, you know what I mean? So, you know what I'm saying? Rest up to him. Like, you know what I mean? Like, but I don't have no, you know what I'm saying? Most none, definitely. Yeah, like, I ain't, I wasn't there. Like, none of that shit. Like, people put my name in there. And I just kind of blow past it. Like, it came to me, like, the next day, two days later. I'm chilling with my kids. My mother's calling me. And I'm just like, man, bro, if they know, they know. I don't got nothing to do with that shit. Like, you know what I mean? So, like, and, I'm, and I'm still doing the clubs. Like, that club, particular club, was open back up a week later. You know what I'm saying? Like, I wasn't there because that wasn't... My club was Sky 11, okay. which is the club right down the street. So, if you go search Yes Sir, you know what I'm saying? Which, Young, Dutchie, Duck, they was all in the video. I'm standing on top of it. 
But I was in the bottle. My club was Sky 11. I was just there like to perform booty pop because that's what I do. When I get records, I break them. I go to the clubs like. But ain't, ain't the clubs, I heard stories about a club out here years ago by yeah. the name of, I think the E2. Yeah, that was so long ago. And then I heard about another club that people told me was like a, one of the wildest clubs ever by the name of, is it Adrian? Adrian. Okay, Adrian. That was my spot too. I used to MC. Okay, up there. so. I MC that all spot. Not E2, E2, that's a little bit before my time. Is there a certain way to move around in these clubs? Because I heard it's dangerous in those clubs. I mean, it's just, like I said, the hype around Chicago has just got everybody, Okay. you know what I'm saying? Like, okay. rushing towards that hype, so they want to live up to it. But it's like, I've been emceeing in the club since I was 15 years old. So it's just like, I've been in this life for a long time. I mean, I've seen the worst shit. I've seen good shit. I've seen bad. I've seen it all. You know what I mean? It's just like, you got to, just the way Chicago is now, you just have to just... You know, so keep your faith strong. You know what I mean? Like I said, like a lot of stuff happened up around, like trying to put my name in it. And like, man, I don't got nothing to do with it. I'm working, man. I'm outside trying to get this money. Thanks. I don't got nothing to do with that. Yeah, I don't I think diss that's people all too much. Yeah. yeah. I'm I totally get it. I got a few more questions for you. I ain't going to hold you too long, but I want to get your opinion on some things that's trending in the culture. Okay. In my opinion, I think the best opinions come from people in the culture. Mm -hmm. So I like to ask questions about things that trended. Now, I ain't gonna lie, I got some tough questions, okay? Okay. So I kind of want to go to the first question I want to ask you. Um, we seen the things that happened, the events that led up to a famous rapper, King Von, uh, passing, mm -hmm. that happened in Atlanta in front of a hookah lounge. You know, I don't like to keep Von's name in my mouth, but, you know, he's the big, one of the biggest drill artists in this shit, and I want to get opinions from people in the culture. Right. Now, you know, it's a video went viral on him, I guess, outside that hookah lounge. He gets into an argument with a rapper named Quando Rondo. His friend comes out of a car named Timothy Leakes and shoots King Von. You know, we all seen this video went viral, even if you didn't want to look at it, it on every Instagram post. In your opinion, and it's the question I'm gonna ask you without being policey, but I am gonna ask you this question. In your opinion, was that a murder or self-defense? Can't really give you an answer on that, man. Like, honestly. Can't give you an answer on I that. Get, I, I get, I get, I get. Okay, like, okay, I don't, you know what I mean? Now. Like, you know, you don't want to ruffle nobody's feathers or nothing like that, and I ain't in the business of doing all of that. Most you know definitely. what I mean? I ain't in the business of doing that, but okay. you know what I'm saying? It's sad what what happens in the world, you know what I mean? And we just, everybody just got to be more careful and just think things through, you know what I mean? I'm going to go to question number two. Okay. FBG Duck the Legend. For sure. According to documents that hit on the internet, right. it says his trial is going to start sometime in the fall of this year. Five people allegedly had something to do with this the FBI say. Right. So it's going to be a trial of FBG Duck and five members allegedly from Oak Block. Um, what do you want the outcome to be? Are you one of the guys that want justice from your point of view or you don't have nothing to do with the court system? Honestly, like I said, I don't really got no standpoint on those type okay, of things. Most man. Definitely. Like, you know, I just know that we lost two main characters. We lost two main characters, man, and it's tragic and it's sad. Them guys was fathers, you know what I mean? They was making music, for, you know, that the world loved, you know what I mean? So it's like, it's just sad. It's, it's, always, it's always a sad event, man, like regardless of what's going on. I really just feel like things can just stay. I really, I'll say this, I'll say this, I'll give you this. I really feel like things should just stay music. I'm gonna leave it like that. Things should totally just stay good. music. Like, and just let, let these boys work, let them get their money on. Like I said, we lost two main characters because both of them was dope. I would say Vaughn was dope too. I say it all the time. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, ladies loved him, he was making good music. Now, I don't like really hearing all of this on both sides. Like, I ain't gonna lie to you. Like, I don't like hearing it on both sides. So it's just like, you know, I would tell Duck that all the time. Like, man, bro, I'll, but we, well, we wouldn't play the distant songs, though. You know what I mean? Like, we come to play what we supposed to play. You know what I mean? That's just what it is. You know what I mean? So, I say that. I leave y'all with that. Things should just stay music. Like, 
Man, I totally get sad. you. Last question I want to ask on the topics. Yeah. This stuff been going around viral on the internet. It kind of died down, but I want to ask you because it was a big debate and I didn't get a clear answer from this. In your opinion, if two people commit a crime, one person passed away, you get caught. Can you put the crime on the next person who passed away? <laughs> is that considered snitching or is that a free pass in your opinion? <laughs> look, man. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> man, look. I hold my own weight and everything I hold my weight in. I, you know, I was raised not to be a tattletale. So, I mean, I ain't got no comment on that. But I would say that I hold my own weight as a man. And if I'm doing it, I'm doing it. Like, I ain't in the business of playing hot potato with something. I always stood 10 on how I feel. And anybody watching this that know me, know I, you know, my mama didn't play that. Like, my auntie didn't play that. Don't be no title to you. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you did it, you did it. So, I'll leave you with that. I'll just say that. I get it. Most you know what I'm saying? Like, uh -huh. I, I can't say, like, people got their got they own views on how they view it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I see the be debates of what T.I. said he put it on this guy. Hey, look. Yeah. Hey, a lot of people merch on they merch on they people all types. Like, I don't know, you know what I'm saying? Like that's just how people rock, you know what I mean? Like I'm not, not oblivious to the stuff, but like me, I would just say that like I hold my own, I hold my own, I take myself. I'm big on this thing called accountability. Right. So I'm just that I'm that man. Like you feel me? I'm a man before anything. Like face me like a man. Tell me your problem with me as a man. Let's just you know what I'm saying. I know that didn't answer your question, but nah, I get you. Nah, accountability for what I what I'm doing, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna get into all of that. You know what I mean? Some people think it's cool. Nah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. If I'm gonna do it, I'm if I'm doing it, I'm doing it. Like if something come to me, I right, it came to me. Like I said, like even things that my name is attached to, bad stuff. Um, I'm like I'm a God fearing man. I got a lot of positive energy around me. I ain't no negative person. Like you know what I'm saying? So it's just like, if you know, you know, man. Like, man, why not me a cool dude? Like, Back, you feel me? like he a cool guy, man, or this, that. Like, man, I don't know. He ain't got shit to do with that shit. <laughs> Niggas know I ain't got nothing to do with nothing. Like, you feel me? Like, my poster's everywhere. My stick is everywhere. I got like, something in my hand now. Come on, man. My shit is everywhere, bro. Right, like, right, what? Right, like, right. my shit in the middle of hoods. Fact. Different hoods. Fact. Like, you feel me? Like, come on, man. Nah, like, that's a fact. Them shit's everywhere. So I did something that left my poster. <laughs> right. Get your marketing game. Come on, man. Like, that's just you. stupid. Like, you feel me? But accountability should be big on everybody's thing. Like, if you're doing it, you're doing it. Most definitely. You know, I want to get to your music. I want to ask you this because, you know, when I get to YouTube. Thank you. you know, now, this Friday, this is where everybody's going to turn it off at. Because they don't fuck about my music. But I like these questions. Uh, when I Google your name, yeah. I type in your name, Y dot G dot. Yeah. I see music of yours yeah. around the time the drill culture started. Of course. I was outside. Yeah. I've been outside. Do you feel like you slept on? Very much so. It's because I wear glasses. Okay. But that's why I'm the biggest nerd since I recall. That's it. why I'm your baby mama's favorite nerd. That's why I'm Chicago's favorite. Soon to be the world's favorite nerd. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm when very you, much slept on, for sure. Right. When you started rapping... It wasn't a lot of people who were out now that were What? Right? <laughs> nobody, nobody was really doing their thing. Like, to get, to have Ferris playing your song right. was like, Unlegend. never was going to happen. To get, right. Na I got DJ Nafis talking on the song. Like, I got all of these things. Like, you had to literally, like, have people call and request your song. Now they're just throwing you in the mix if you got a hot song. Oh. Because now the radio, radio state, yeah, that's what we can talk about. Now the radio stations is opening up to where Chicago artists can get played more. You know what I mean? So like now, but you're really mainly getting played on Power 92. Okay. Not getting played on GCI. I don't give y'all too much thing, sauce yeah. on that. But yeah, it's ways around everything. It's not a pay-for-play thing. They just rock. No, nah, it ain't. No, it's just like building a relationship. Like, no. you just build a relationship and you got to have something going. Like right now, my song, Bounce That Ass, is going very well. Okay. It's doing the puzzle. But every time I have a song, I always get radio love. Okay. But this song, I'll say I get, I'm get i getting the most because it's having a lot of traction. You know what I mean? So, shout out the radio for that. Yeah, shout out the radio. I'll shout, hey, I'm big on the DJs. Look, I'm my career, I'm nothing without clubs, the DJs, the promoters. I'm nothing without them. 
they make who they make me who I am. Graphic designers, they make me who if you ever did an artwork for me, thank you. Right. Like you feel me? Like, you know, I I'm believe it. Shit. I believe everybody getting they just do who work for me. No, I totally get it. You know, when you was rapping from right now, in your opinion, what's the one thing that changed in this shit? You know, because I recall, you know, maybe I'm wrong, but 10, 11 years ago, you know, I remember Twister, Conflict, you know. Yeah. Now it's a lot of switches. There is in the music. That's what, that's what, that's, like, I, mean, I go back to earlier what I said. That's just the world view us some type of way, and that's just how, like, when you hear Detroit, what do you think about? They just, Scam music. They, you know what I'm saying? They got like, their oh, it's this up there, this up there. I've been to Detroit. They cool as hell up there. You uh -huh. feel me? They show me love. So it's just like, that's just like, Chicago has this eye from 2014. I don't got to say what big monumental thing happened in 2014, but Shorty changed the same. He did. You know what I'm saying? And y'all don't know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about Chief Keith. He changed the scene. So from there, it just, you know what I mean? But you have people before him, like, you know what I'm saying? The King Louis and, you know what I mean? And the Pac-Mans and Samson's and, you know what I mean? That was doing the music too. The I hear a lot about Samson. So he L.E.P. Was Bogus there. Boy. L.E.P. Bogus Boy. Yeah, but you, I mean, uh, Mooney and Count, you ain't gonna, I don't, I know uh, Mooney's like doing his own thing. He like working with like Nardo Wick. So oh. Like, like they don't do really do music together. I don't even know if Mooney still do music. I know Count do, but like you that's got the G Count, right? Yeah, G Count. Okay. Yeah, you had Bump J, uh, Slap Polaroid, the Goon Squad, King right. Louis. You know what I'm saying? Kings, right. like yeah, like these guys was outside too. But it's just like they, they was kind of popping on a wave where social media wasn't big. Like oh. so, they never kind of came in on that social media wave. Like they oh. had it in the streets. I don't know. Like I don't know them from that. But I know like they had. When they call that social media wave, and that's what that's what happened. That would make you that would make you somebody. You put that social in front media of your name, wave. Add in front of your name, and you somebody. You used to throw that at, huh? Yeah, throw that at in that thing. It's on, man. It's on. <laughs> but like he had, he had it. He changed the culture. He changed the world. That man changed the world. So we got to give him that. But you know, it was people before him too that was doing their thing too. That's still doing their thing. No, I totally get it. Um, y'all see how I just did that, y'all? I gave props to everybody. Yeah, you did. Please go back and watch this whole interview. <laughs> like, <laughs> they gonna be, yeah, you know, the way it's probably gonna get chopped. Everybody gonna be, oh, he said this, said that. No, go back and watch the interview. Yeah. I, I'm rocking, I'm giving everybody their flowers, man, because everybody deserves it. For the new people who kind of jumped in the culture, yeah. you know, how this record, they type in Y dot G dot. Yeah. How this song you got? Uh, all of them good. But <laughs> right now, bounce that ass. Bounce that ass. If you, I just look at it like this. Everything ain't shoot them up, bang, bang. Okay. You gonna watch my shit, you gonna see some booty shaking at you. Like, my homies never say my page is like 23 is back. Mm -hmm. Y'all don't know what 23 is back. That's like, they got all the new releases of mics. Mm -hmm. So basically, he's saying like, he come to my page to find what girls is popping. Because mm -hmm. I got every girl shaking ass to my song. Right. So like, I think everything I make is good because everything is like ass shaking music. It's club music. It's feel good music. But that's not what people want. You know what I mean? But if you like it, you like it. If you know, you know. Like, but I'm I'm gonna stand on me, like how the music I like to make. So bounce that ass, dope record. Yeah. What I wanna ask though, yeah. is it hard getting a look without this? Cause somebody told me this. This yeah. sound crazy as hell. Somebody told me this. Doc, <clears throat> I don't know if you're gonna say true, they don't sound right. But somebody told me if you ain't dissing the ops, I got guns in the videos, it ain't gonna work. I say the door, the, the door is open back up for okay. people doing music like myself. Bad. I would say that. I would say like, yeah, we get overlooked a lot, but also like, I got a nice little fan base. Like, Bad. you know what I mean? And people, people like gravitate towards me. Now, I'm not getting a faster look, but I'm getting like nice little looks though. Like, Bad. you know what I mean? Like I'm doing my thing, like, you know what I mean? Like bounce that ass, like I said, it's doing good. Produced by DJ Mars. Salute DJ Mars. That's cheap. That's cheap. Keep DJ. Yeah. That's my. Mars. That's my bro. We grew up together. Uh -huh. <clears throat> like shorties, like came up together. So it's uh -huh. like, so you see the type of town I'm on, right? Right. Oh, okay. You got legends on this shit. Having with these shit. It's, it's the drill culture did overlook artists, right? They they oh yeah. I mean like the drill drill took over. Right. So that it's just like it, for me it's just like, but I. <clears throat> 
excuse me, I was always in the, I was even in the drill coach, like I said, from hosting the mixtapes and just yeah. being around, doing the parties. Like, we was booking Dirk and Sosa and them. Adriana's, that was, them was our parties. Oh. Champagne. That was me that had them in Champagne. That's crazy. Like, I had them in Champagne. They know that. You seen that shit happen. I was, that was my parties. Like, I was, I come from throwing parties. I come from the party era. Like, it's a drill. Drill and party was in the same era. You feel um, me? And, yeah. Was it weird watching these guys blow up? No, it's not weird at all. I'm pro Chicago. Right. I'm pro the city, bro. Like, I'm not. You knew weird. Dirk was going to be big? I knew all of them was going to be big. Okay. I knew Dirk would be where he's at right now. I knew Herb would be where he's at right now. So you seen that? I've seen it in all, bro. <laughs> we all stars, bro. We right. all are stars. I'm a star, too. Fast. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I'm a star, shit, too. Is this, I'm going to get my look. I'm going, yeah. So, yeah, for, like, since last year, bro, we were supposed to be in this. Just the facts. So yeah, we definitely yeah. supposed to do that. We going to, you know what I'm saying? We here now, but, like, definitely, I'm going to get my just do. Yeah. And I'm going to get it in a major way. I'm mm-hmm. going to get it how I'm supposed to get it, for sure. Independent major. Ooh, it, it just depends on the situation. But I, I say stay independent. What depends on? Um, on the situation. So, like, I I say, like, the baby, right? He was okay. independent until it was like, I it ain't really hurting me to go with these guys. But also coming with that major, it's like you got, you got a lot of, you got a lot of, you know what I'm saying? Like, how can you drive? Like, more so, like, I'd rather be a partner with a label okay. than anything. But okay, they're knocking on your door right now. They're knocking on your shit. They want I ain't gonna lie. Tapes. Just to get in the door, it just depends on the situation. Three mixtapes, a couple hundred thousand. Because mm-hmm. I ain't a couple hundred thousand. People be telling nah, me they don't want that. No, nah, we, can, a lot of money. we can do like single deals. Okay. Like a, like a single situation. Mixtape project album. That's, you gotta think I was with a signed artist. So I, I know like ins and outs and stuff like that. I know little loopholes and stuff like that. Okay. I wouldn't do that. But I got like, I mean, would I take, I mean, yeah, anybody would. You'd be thirsty like, damn. Right. But it's like, I wouldn't, I, my mentality is if I'm hot enough for y'all to come to me, damn, I probably can do it on my own. You know what I mean? Like, let me just see if I can do it on my own first. But like, like you need, everybody need like a little push. You do to a certain extent. Okay. But if I'm hot enough to where like I could, I could t- I could tackle forty three states on my own. Uh no, nah, I'm straight. <laughs> I'm cool. We can do it on our own. I'd rather like get it out the mud like this way. Like as long as I got like diehard fans anywhere I go, like how Wiz Khalifa and Big Sean and them did it. Like if y'all familiar with them, like because a lot of y'all probably not familiar, but they had diehard fans though. They they had diehard fans, so they was able to do like shows and and that's what I want to do. I want to do like a strip club run. Okay. See me like so it'd be it would it would kind of be smart for me to stay as independent as possible because like I get more levers on what I want to do like I yeah I make stadium music like this all my shit sound good in the big arenas all that shit but it's like I'd rather do it like how I'm doing it right. until it makes sense it just gotta make sense and when the making sense is like it ain't gonna make sense to y'all but it's gonna make sense to me like oh yeah I, okay I need to go ahead and do it now. Last question I want to ask you, Legend. Normally I have a board. I ain't bring it today. But right. Normally I got a board with a lot of Legends names on it. Mm-hmm. I asked to give me a top ten. Uh, I don't got the board today, but I want to ask you in your opinion. Can you give me your top five biggest drill rappers of all time? Oh, man. Is that possible? Because it's a lot of drill rappers. Impactful. I like, I'm more so like the artists that you don't really see. Okay, give me like, biggest. Can I just say names? Like, say I don't names. really want to give you, like, you feel me? But, okay. like, like some I'm artists like, that people don't know about, some legends. The, out here. the King Donalds, the uh-huh. Chief Misters, the EQs, um, Big Daddy Deja, the you got some Pretty Leah, Spendies, Hollywoods, Why Da G Die, 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 you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, uh, I don't know if I said G, Mr. King, Dono, all them. Um, uh, dang, what's his name? Blaze? My word. I don't even know where he's from. And he got, dang, I see him all the time, man. It's a lot of dope artists, man. So many dope artists, man. They all doing their thing, man. Like, but like, everybody that's in the drill culture, okay, I listen to their music. Sorry, right, cool. So I can't get it. Right. 
my Mount Rushmore or none of that. I listen to Herbie, that's my boy. He know I listen to his music. You feel me? Like, I was in a spot like what? Like a few months ago, he was there. Came with me, shook my hand. Like, Dope. I listen to everybody, but it's like a lot of a lot of people that slept on. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of people that slept on. Like the females doing their thing right now. Like Mellow Bucks, Money G, um, Cashmere. You know what I'm saying? They all doing their thing. Like it's a lot. Of, everybody, everybody in Chicago is doing their thing, man. One hundred. Like everybody doing their thing. Straight up. Most definitely. That was the last thing I'm gonna ask, but it's one more thing I just remember. Now, can't get out of this without asking this. You knew the legendary Zach TV. Yeah, that's my uh -huh. Yeah. How was Zach? What, what was his presence? I met him in 2014. Okay. Um, I had a movement called Anti Chirac, and he was very, like, he was very, like, supportive. Very okay. supportive. Actually, the night that he passed away, I was at that club, too. Oh. I was emceeing at that spot. Uh, I was at home, though, when I got the call okay. about what happened. Which is very tragic, cause like I don't really want to get into it too much. He just wasn't himself okay. that day. A lot of people said that. Oh, okay. Well, I, yeah, I don't really be too much watching like him. A lot of people said like, Zach wasn't acting right. No, nah, that night it was different. It was different. He wasn't his real life, but he also had just came back from out of town. Okay. So I'm thinking like, okay, maybe he might be tired, cause everybody was tired. Like I had just MC probably like. Five events before that event. That was like the last event. Cause I literally went home and like went to sleep. I was knocked the fuck out. And then yeah. like, I think Amaris called me. Cause we, I think he was down there. Yeah, he was there too. We had all just left each other. We all just left each other. And it was just like, all went in the same direction too. Like, you know what I'm saying? But it was like, I turned which way, you know what I'm saying? Everybody doing their thing or whatever. But, but yeah, that was my boy, man. Very supportive. I feel like if he was still alive today, he will be, very big on he'll be, he'll be with me for sure because he loved my music he supported me like he would come to my basketball games all type of stuff he'll post my music everything like he'll be he'll be loving bounce that ass for sure he'll been loving booty pop man bounce that ass because <laughs> you know? he always said it like man you be having all the ass man like that's what I, I used to say that all the time i'll be watching i'll be looking at our dm sometimes right. you know? a lot of people say zach was a good dude great dude yeah. Great dude, but like I said, man, like, you know what I mean? It's just, man, this city, man, this city, man, this city, this city is something else, man. Yeah. This city will eat you alive if you let it. Man, that's great. Lil Wayne, what Lil Wayne say? Belly of the beast to the pukas. Yeah. Give an upcoming artist some advice in this shit, bro. Artists run up on you today. They don't ain't... stop. Don't stop. Get it. Get it. Don't yeah. stop. Consistency is key. Simple. Out and be yourself. Mm. And don't worry about what people say. Everybody gonna have negative opinions. And that shit. Ain't no female gonna be in these comments like I'm ugly. <laughs> <laughs> They're not. You know what I'm saying? So it's gonna be trollish. That was it. That's it. You know what I'm saying? So let me get your social media. Somebody wanna get up with you. Somebody wanna book you. Yeah. What's um, your social media? Y D O T G D O T G D O T and I have management. Get up with you. Okay, what about Twitter? I heard Twitter busting there. Oh, why not the nerd? I ain't gonna lie. My first Twitter I had, real why not G dot, man, it was bust. <laughs> I had everybody on there, but then like I had like lost the password. Because uh, I was a I was a Blackberry guy. Right. I wasn't really into iPhones. So like when I was like switching over, like I like lost that. I had everybody on that Twitter yeah. too. Yeah, like her. Dirk, her, everybody, bro. Yeah. Dirk, everybody. I had everybody on that. Uh -huh. Like literally like. Like, Dirk supported my anti Chirac movement. Oh, like, in dope. the beginning. Like, Doug did too. Everybody did. Like, everybody supported it because I was just trying to do something different. I remember when that was going Yeah, on. just like bring awareness, you know what I mean? Just throw mm -hmm. events for kids, man. That's all I was on. You know what I'm saying? So, but I had everybody on that Twitter. But yeah, uh, why Dr. the nerd? Twitter is like a porn site now. I don't like that. Somebody shit. told me that too. There's a lot of wild stuff. Every time I like refresh my page and shit, mm -hmm. I don't want my kids having Twitter. All right. Yeah, I barely uh -huh. want to even be on social media now, but the TikTok, that, that shit, the same shit. Mm -hmm. Now, nah, that shit converting to all that sexual shit. Mm -hmm. What about TikTok, though? I heard that's helping music. You want that? Uh, to... Every time I post a video, they clip my shit. Okay. Because I always have, like, ass shaking and shit okay. like that. I make that type of music, so. Most importantly, though, YouTube channel. People subscribe to your YouTube channel. Yeah, my shit monetizing and everything. I got over oh. 2K followers. Okay, what's that YouTube channel? Uh, Just YDOT. YDOT, GDOT. 
Please okay. just go listen to my music, y'all. Uh -huh. Give me a chance. Give yeah. me a chance. Y'all go subscribe to that YouTube yeah. channel. Doc be dropping a lot of music on that yeah. YouTube channel. Yeah. He fuck around and drop something today. Yeah, no, I, um, so I ain't dropping right now because I'm pushing Bounce That Ass and it's doing good. Okay. So like, and I'm doing like shows and shit. So I'm coming. Bounce That Ass on YouTube? Uh, it's on that. It's on my. Uh, okay, it's, yeah. uh, the, the audio is at like 15K. Okay. The video is climbing. Oh, okay. I'm going to shoot another video. But like, man, if you go look on my Instagram. Okay. Been doing this thing, and it's just I've been pushing it for a year. Okay, most yeah. definitely. And it's starting to really get a lot of traction. Right now, a lot of TikTokers doing videos and mm -hmm. shit like that. So y'all check that bounce that ass out. Yeah. Y dot G dot DJ yeah. Amaris. Yeah, produced by DJ Amaris. YouTube and another all them other platforms. Too. Uh, every platform, y'all go okay. streaming, man. Most definitely. They gonna be like, oh yeah, I heard that song. <laughs> man, I appreciate the opportunity yeah. to speak to you, legend. Nah, thank you. Uh -huh. The homie truth telling the street reporter. Yeah. Brick, 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 brick. I love legend. Legend, that was a classic interview. So.